This is the new Mitsubishi I. Or maybe it's the Mitsubishi I. I'm not quite sure. It's nearly 10 inches shorter than a Mini on the outside, but an utter TARDIS inside. It's a really good ride, this car. There's potholes like that, and it soaks them up really well. The fact is, this is a car that should never leave the city limit. There's a list as long as your arm about why this car makes good sense. It's reasonably well equipped. It performs very well in crash tests. Drive it gently and you'll do more than 50 to the gallon around town. Plus, it spits out barely any CO2. But it costs 9,000 quid. Which got me thinking, could I personally build a revolutionary concept in city cars on a budget? Hell yeah. And these are my ingredients. A smart, another smart, and four bolts. Total cost, £4,600, roughly half the cost of an eye or ear or whatever it is. So how am I going to create a four-seater car but retain that dinky little wheelbase? Well, like a 1970s town planner, I'm thinking high rise. Behold, the world's first double-decker car. And of course, it's got two boots, which means double the amount of cargo capacity compared to the eye. But is it as good as an eye? Let's conduct some very scientific tests. Test one, parking. This gap is too small, even for the eye. But will my double-decker smart squeeze in? Urban space saving, here we come. Clearly not one for the multi-storey, but the double-decker's compact wheelbase gives it the edge for on-street parking. Now, how will it fare in our second test? Performance. With four on board each car, which will be the quickest in a straight line? Twenty-five in first. There's a lot of wind now, a lot of wobble going on. Mm. Obviously my double decker smart's no good if you really need to get your mates somewhere in a hurry. It would be very irresponsible of me to put my design straight into the market without doing some research on stability. The elk test was developed in Sweden where swerving to avoid moose is part of everyday driving. The eye avoids the obstacle and regains its composure nicely. Lord only knows how my double-decker will perform this 40 miles per hour emergency manoeuvre. Wish me luck. Here we go, here comes an elk. Yeah, I'm all right. I, I need the toilet, I tell you. 